Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we are going to take a look at the Derwent Line and Wash Paint Pan Set. This is actually a new set, but I'll show you because uh, it's not gross yet. And the one I've been using has gone through some uh, some paintings, and we'll see those as well. But this is what you're going to get when they are brand new. Oh my gosh, if I can get it out. Here we go. Um, this is what it looks like brand new. You've got a little vellum uh, color code swatch here that tells you the colors. What you have is um, ink tense sun yellow, ink tense mango, ink tense poppy red. You've got graphitin autumn brown, graphitin port, ink tense bright blue, ink tense Payne's gray, graphitin ocean blue, pastel artichoke, graphitin meadow, ink tense natural brown, and pastel storm gray. These are in their own half pan, so you can move them around if you prefer a different arrangement, like if you want them in rainbow order, or maybe all the ink tents together, and then the uh, graphic tents together, and the pastels together. So feel free to move it around if you want to. Um, there's a yellow sponge here, and a water brush. The water brush is um, in two pieces, so it will fit in here, and it has a little stopper so it doesn't spill, and those sponges for wiping off your brush. And it also comes with a 0.03 and a 0.08 pen. So I've used these for a few sketches and I'm going to show you what I think of them. So this is the this is the set I've been using and this is the little hand painted swatch card I did. So I did some black uh, pen, black marker, and then I swatched over it so you could see the opacity. A lot of these are at least somewhat opaque if not completely opaque. Um, probably the ink tense blue, that's probably the most transparent one. Um, they all have a good amount of opacity to them. And I just did a mixing guide here with the primary colors, the sun yellow, poppy red, and uh, bright blue. And then um, I just kind of mixed some of the other colors just to see what we would get. So here is my little set of paints. Um, one thing I wish they did was I wish they like maybe ha made this like half the size so that the, at least one pen could fit in here and the water brush could fit in with a cap on because if you put the water brush together it will not fit in with the cap on so it'd be nice if everything would fit in the tin but or at least that one pen and one water brush would fit in the tin that would be super super awesome but that's not the case I would actually love this cut in half and then like a little bit of ink tense white put in their intense white pan or or something. I did use a sponge when I was sketching the other night, uh, last night with them on location, so there is definitely a space for it, but I usually have a paper towel, so I don't know how necessary that is. Um, I would definitely rather have that longer so I could fit, a, fit the brush put together and one of the pens, or maybe even two of the pens if the box was a little different. But this is the box they use for all of their watercolor products, so, or water soluble products so far, so except for the longer one they have frank tents. Um, so I'm not really that, um, I'm not really that surprised they used that same container. So this is one sketch that I did. Um, I did not use the pen, well, actually I did kind of trace some of the area with the pen afterwards, but I just used the paints and it was a very quick sketch as I was waiting for my dinner last night at a cafe. And I also did this one at that same cafe last night, just kind of sitting and looking. Um, I used the 0 .3, 0 .03 pen for the line work and then just did the um, the wash on top. I did have some difficulty mixing some of the neutral grays, but I mean, it worked out all right. They're probably not the colors that I would have chosen, but, um, but it was kind of nice and at least it's a good primary set. So that makes it very handy. I do wish there was the ink tense white because that's so opaque and it would be really nice for um, for doing white details, and I didn't have a white pen on me, so um, I used what I had, and, and it was fine. I used what I what was in that kit, and uh, I really I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it quite a bit, and it's not as expensive as like a set of twelve um, watercolors from like a professional range. I think this is runs around thirty five dollars online, so it's not that it's not that expensive. Um, and then I've got a couple demonstrations that I did on cotton paper. This is going to be a pretty quick review. I know probably a lot of you are, are know about this set, or I've reviewed the other products like the ink tents, pan paints, and the graphitint, and the pastel shades. So it's just kind of like a, it's just a different um, a combination of them. So I did this with a line and wash. One thing I'll say is that the sense the paints are semi opaque that they will cover up your lines a bit. I mean, not totally like when you have them really watered down, they're not really covering up your lines that much, but you might actually want to do wash then line just because it does soften your lines out when you go over them with these products, especially if you're using them at all thickly. So I think, I think I painted this first and then I went in with the line work afterwards. So it wouldn't get, um, it wouldn't get muddy. And I did add a little bit of gel pen on this one. And then uh, I did these here. 
I did this one right here. I have a video of that. And it had the, I had the situation where the, the uh, pan paints were covering up my line work, but it was all right because my line work wasn't that great. So muting it down was fine. Um, when you use them really thin, it does, it's fine. You don't really see much of the, um, uh, you don't have that haziness when you're thinning down the paints, like right there. That was something different. And then this, again, I used some of the, uh, the purple, I think I used the Payne's Gray, the Intense Blue, and the uh, Poppy Red to make the purples and blues for this. And um, and yeah, that worked out That worked out pretty well. This, I did a very quick sketch with a pen, and then I just went in with a paint. And it was a lot of fun, and I was able to work pretty quickly. Um, so you may be wondering, should I buy this? Should I skip it? What do you think, Lindsay? Well, I think that's entirely up to you. I think that um, Joint makes good products. The palette does stain a little bit, and like I said, you can't fit the uh, the brush with a cap on it. That's a common um, that's a common complaint I hear from people with the Derwent sets because they have this part cordoned off. I would rather have that half the size and have a little more room for that for a pen, water brush, that sort of thing. Um, you can clean this up with a magic eraser if it bothers you, but it will restain. So same thing with the ink tents. You know, just uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, the pens are great. I love the Derwent line makers. They work wonderfully under watercolor or under alcohol ink, so they're very handy to have. I would make your own swatch like I did here. I'll cut that out and stick that in the um, in the set because the vellum ones are they're good for knowing what's there, but they uh, they're not as accurate as actually swatching out the product, and they can get kind of stained and get wrinkly and stuff um, over the course of the uh, of the painting, and so. If you want to move your move these around, all you have to do is pull out the little pan holder and push the pans out, and then you can arrange them however you want. Um, like I said, I might I might switch them around actually and put my ink tents together and then put the uh, graphitants together because for me that would make way more sense, and then re-swatch it. That's probably what I'll end up doing instead of um, instead of cutting that apart, just because it would make way more sense for me that way. Um, I to do the the cocktail and the street scene. I only filled this up. I had this full, I used one and a half barrels full of um, water brush for that, so that worked out great. I was surprised at how um, at how far those paints went with so little water. Um, I used, I saved these little drink enhancer, little squeezy things. I wash them out and I fill them with water and I carry these for filling my water brushes and it works great. But, um, but yeah, I like it. I like the products that are in it because I've, I've reviewed these other products before and I like them. Um, this combination is fun because it's different. It's not what I would have picked out. So I kind of think those sorts of things are, are fun. But if you already have the graphitin and the ink tents and the pastel paints, you pretty much already have these products. So it's just, do you want this, this, um, do you want this collection of them, essentially? And if you do, great. And if you don't, then just use the other ones you have because, you know, like I showed you how to move those around. If you have one of those other, if you have those other palettes, you can make up your own line and wash set and just grab some pens you already have. So uh, I don't want you to double buy unless you just want this collection on its own. But if you're maybe curious about what are the Inktense pan paints like, what are the Graphitin like, um, you could get a little smattering this way. And uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a, just a nice way to, to try out some different products if you've never tried any of their line. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The products are good. It just depends on whether you like this assortment or not. I think it's fun and I definitely will take it around to do some more urban sketching because it's easy, it's quick, and I can get some good results with it. So thank you very much for watching this quick review video. I appreciate your likes and your subscribes and all of that good stuff. And I will have a link to this in the video description. Oh, I want to let you know this was sent to me from Derwen. I teach classes for them over at Michael's on their online classes a platform. And so they make sure I have the up-to-date product. And I just want to disclose that in case you think that I am, just so you know my relationship with Derwen. So you will you can decide how much weight you want to give my review, basically. You have the right to know. And if there are links in the video description, there will be links. There'll be affiliate links, which means I could earn a small percentage off that sale without costing you any more. But again, I think it's important that you know that. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up before you go. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye!